Hey everybody, Mike here from Bush Green. How's everybody doing? So here we are on site doing another uh, estimate for grass cutting. So this is a pretty nice property here, nice house. Um, so we're only doing an estimate for grass cutting, no garden work at all. So it's kind of nice, so straightforward uh, coming in here and and uh, just doing the grass, that's it. So, so we're gonna do our walk around here, look at how much trimming we have to do and um, look for any obstacles or anything. Uh, this property, I already know, uh, it has an irrigation system. Um, yeah, the grass is looking a little rough. There is a story behind that. Um, yeah, we'll get into that in a second. So, as we come up here, one thing I, I really like is uh, the double gate. So it looks like they, uh, they made a change here because the fence looks older than the gate does. So, uh, just looking at this double gate here, I know uh, there won't be any issues fitting uh, my 30 inch walk behind or even the 36. I probably could fit the 52, but I'm not going to use that on this property. Um, yeah, so anyway, yeah, look at the grass here. It's, uh, it's looking pretty rough. So, um, gardens look nice and clean anyway. They're taking care of that pretty good. So, yeah, like I said, there is a sprinkler system here. There's another head there for the garden. Um, nice area back here. Pool area. Look at that. A couple of cabanas, a hot tub. Yeah, but look how rough that grass is. So, anyway, they had a company working here, and I guess this company was doing four or five other houses in this neighborhood, too. And they just stopped coming last year in August. Just like that. No notice, no nothing. They disappeared nowhere to be found took everybody's kept everybody's money for the remaining of the season i guess they, they paid their contract out already so they're stuck so the grass was kind of left too high uh before the winter uh th these are professional people they have no time to take care of this stuff that's why they hire somebody somebody to do it uh that's why this grass is looking a little rough in some areas because it was it was left way too long before the snow came on it so yeah, I need to uh, kind of fluff this up and cut it and uh, bag it, remove it. And there's some leaves left here. It's not bad. Uh, a lot of you know, more edging coming around here, trimming. So trimming around the play structure, it's not a big deal. Uh, there are drainage issues here. You can see it's slightly downhill. And then in front of the patio there is a bit of uh, like a ditch. And then right here too. So the water is running down this way. It is kind of soggy where I'm walking right now. Uh, they did warn me. They said, yeah, it's usually pretty wet for a little bit until, uh, you know, it's the summer comes. And so with that being said, uh, if I get this property, uh, I will be using the 30 inch Toro on, on this. I, I will not put a stand on, on the property if it's this wet. Um, I, I don't want to rut up this property. I know this grass is nice. It can be brought back and, uh, it, it will look really nice. And the last thing I want to do is start writing it all up. So take the time, you know, use the right piece of equipment to do the, a good job. Uh, when it does get warmer and stuff, then yes, they, they said it's okay to, to put a heavier machine on, obviously. But like right now, the state that it's in, you know, in the first month or so, May, probably a little bit of June, I would have to use the uh, walk behind. So yeah, there's a bit of a little ditch area whatever which they constructed over the years they said uh, just to help drain water out of the back here so nothing I can't handle uh, we can get this grass looking pretty good I think some fertilizer would help maybe some uh, an aer aeration or uh, you know aerate the lawn um, yeah so pretty straightforward anyway I just can't believe that people do that, you know, and, and, and there's so many companies out there that do that, you know, they just, they get in over their head, they have too much work, and then they just stop showing up, but uh, I couldn't do that. How can you live with yourself like that, you know, and just, I got a reputation to keep, and yeah, anyway, yeah, this door won't latch here. Sometimes with these latches here, when they have a string on the outside, well, you gotta move that down before you close it, and then, there you go. Yeah, so pretty straightforward anyway. Um, hopefully I get this one too. I'm gonna give them a pretty good price on this since there's no garden work or anything. There's a, looks like a light in the grass there. Yeah, 
Uh, not too much uh, sidewalk trimming there. Front looks small. It's like a pie, right? It opens up in the back. So, like always, when I do these, uh, I leave a business card in the door. They, they know that I'm there. They're watching me in the through the back window. I'm going to give them a call in a little bit to discuss the pricing. I just got to verify if they want to go until the end of November or end of October. That's one thing I don't know right now. So, so yeah, so we're going to look at uh, parking, you know, when you come with your truck and trailer, make sure you get enough room. There's lots of room down the street. Curb goes all the way to the next street there. So I think we're okay. So, so like, subscribe, leave a comment, and smash that bell. Thank you so much for watching.